Hey, 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 welcome to another Money Today. Well, this isn't the video I intended on making today, but when something pops up on your screen and you're like, wait a second, <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. I've been looking at this for, wow, probably about a year ago, I spotted somehow just in a research, I spotted Databricks. And I noticed that it was the investment in it was BlackRock and Reason Horowitz and NQTEL. And, you know, Fidelity and yada, yada, yada. But I instantly thought, oh, NQTEL. Well, that's the investment arm of the intelligence agencies, originally CIA. <laughs> and so I was like, that is going to come up later. Uh, I looked into it a little bit, but it, I hadn't connected it with blockchain at the time, just the clouds. And then uh, pops up on my screen here from Ace of Crypto said, do your own research on ALBT partner data breaks. <laughs> and obviously that became the video I was going to do that day. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, just had to do it. So this was actually announced in 2021 uh, by Rashida Jaja at Consensus. And uh, somehow I missed this, I think. First milestone, partnership with Databricks. Alliance Block really recently launched its data tunnel product, sometimes referred to as the Netflix of data. The data tunnel aims to become the oracle of oracles in both the DeFi and TradeFi spaces. Toward this end, Rashid was pleased to announce Alliance Block partnership with Databricks, the leader in cloud-based data engineering, data, and AI. Now, this is huge. Databricks, like I told you, uh, and you will hear that part of them is uh, Apache Spark and Delta Lake, as I said, partnered with the U.S. government. Uh, it was partially funded by the U.S. government, but it's also in partnership, and so we'll get into that. Uh, an open standard for secure data sharing. Data sharing is the world's first open protocol for securely sharing data across organizations in real time. This is important. I'm sure this is across clouds, across organizations. They can all share each other's data without breaking any laws from what I can understand independent of the platform on which the data resides. It is natively integrated into the Databricks Lakehouse platform. You can centrally discover, manage, and govern all of your shared data on one platform. Now, some of you know way, way, way more about this than I do, and I would appreciate your comments, or if you want to add anything, please do. You can go to my uh, Twitter, or you can just add it to the comments. I know this goes way beyond what I understand, but in it, I understand it's huge. So a little bit about Databricks. Uh, enterprise software company Databricks now worth $38 billion, up $10 billion since February. It added Amazon, Google, and Salesforce investors in a separate $1 billion capital raise. Existing investors include BlackRock, Andreessen Horowitz, Clabber, uh, Tiger Global Management, T. Rowe Price, Fidelity, etc., Databricks is also increasingly helping organizations like Comcast, Shell, Expedia, and Regeneron deploy artificial intelligence models. And here's more about that partnership with U.S. intelligence community. Databricks, the company behind Apache Spark, today announced a strategic partnership agreement with an investment from NQTEL. NQTEL is the investment organization that identifies innovative technologies to support the mission of the U.S. intelligence community. Through this strategic partnership, Databricks will extend Apache Spark's position as the leading processing engine built for speed, ease of use, and sophisticated analytics by delivering a cloud-based Spark platform that supports the operational requirements of the U.S. intelligence community. I'm actually going to leave this one in the description because I don't want to read the whole thing, but I think it's very important. So those of you that want to learn more about this whole partnership. And uh, yes, I promise to get into Algorand here in a second as well. So we got Alliance Block and Algorand, two of the tokens or cryptos that we in this channel own and have talked quite a bit about. So 
you want to go into either of those, especially Al Grant I've been talking a lot about lately. Databricks Cloud Partners. Yes, all of the cloud services, Microsoft Azure, uh, Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and Alibaba Cloud. Anybody else think it's a little interesting that uh, the U.S. intelligence agencies help develop something that is in Alibaba Cloud, which is owned by China? Uh, I guess if you watch this channel, you're not so surprised about that, but uh, in case some of you are. And something else anybody who watches this channel won't be surprised to know, the Delta Lake project turns to Linux Foundation to become the open standard for data lakes. It has a thriving ecosystem of supporters, including Intel, Alibaba, and Booz Allen Hamilton. So basically, the governments around the world. Now, as many of you know, Linux Foundation is working hand-in-hand -hand with DARPA, the Defense Department, on building all the infrastructure for Internet of Things, for, you know, everything when it comes to digital infrastructure. So let's get to Algrad. Now, I was not expecting this because I was looking up the uh, Alliance Block Partnership. And when I put in blockchain and Databricks, bam, this picture pops up and I'm like, what the heck? I mean, I'm not super surprised because I've been telling you guys probably for the past couple weeks mostly, but forever really, about how tied in Algorand is with the globalists or whatever the heck you want to call it, whatever's happening in this world right now. And this just how, you know, you can see right here, Algorand Indexer and then Algorand SDK uh, with Databricks. And some of you will understand this way better than I do, but here is another article, which I will put in the description so you can go further with this. Real-time blockchain analytics with Databricks Delta. SQL and Graph. And in case you were wondering, this is written in collaboration with Eric Giusecki, Principal Software Engineer at Algorand. So this isn't just somebody doing this. This is in part with Algorand. And the Solutions Architect for Databricks. You see, I didn't try to pronounce that. Again, I'm not going to go deep into this. You saw the picture, and some of you will understand this way better than I do. Let me know if this surprises you. What does this mean? What, I mean, let's get more into it. I don't mind going deeper into this if you just help me understand a little bit more. So again, go to my Twitter or send me a video or put a, a comment so we can better understand what the heck is actually going on here. I just think the ties alone are very interesting. And something somebody else put here in the, under the ace of crypto didn't get a lot of responses here, but it says the data tunnel is built on ocean protocol. Love ALBT though. Well, I actually respond to this for proof about that because I could not find any ties with ocean protocol and Databricks. Now it may exist and I just didn't see it. If you find it, please let me know. I actually asked him about that. I think you might have been thinking of Digital Ocean. Now, you know, of course, I do own Ocean, and it's one of the, you know, it is one of the cryptos on my list. But I don't like to kind of make connections where I can't find them. So Digital Ocean is definitely connected to Databricks. And this is just basically how people can interact with the clouds, and of course, Databricks would fall right in there. And there's precog, allows anyone to load data from DigitalOcean into Databricks Delta Lake without custom code or engineering resources. So all this is super fascinating, and I can see it's really, it's really useful for businesses. But of course, just like the internet itself, it comes right back to the Defense Department. And here are some of the uh, partnerships with precog, which is working with Databricks, and of course, Adobe, Amazon Web Services, Google, Deloitte. Microsoft, you know, the same old people we've been looking at, Oracle, a lot of uh, Linux Foundation members. So that's all I have to say about that for right now. It is just a fascinating find. And uh, if you're an Algorand or Alliance Block holder, you can see how this is all connected. You know, we put things together here. So that's all I'm going to say, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you all.